Hey everybody, it's Cutmaster Chris, and uh, somebody was asking about a uh, ceremony for their upcoming, uh, I believe it was for Blue and Gold if I remember correctly, and uh, so I thought I would very quickly demo the ceremony for you. This is the watercolor changing ceremony. Um, the uh, it, uh, It's actually quite simple to put together. What you're going to need are jars for, uh, my suggestion would be for each of the boys. Uh, this is a um, one of the big mason jars. What you want is either the smaller ones, I believe the pint size, or uh, baby food jars. The baby food jars um, um, are a little bit tougher to seal. That's why I don't like them. I like I like the idiot proof seals of these. So uh, what you're going to do is uh, you just got yourself some water. Now the problem with these big ones is they're a little too heavy for the little kids. So that's why I would suggest maybe the uh, pint size. So uh, the thing that I love about these, besides the fact that these lids are just absolutely dead set easy to put on, is these guys right here, the actual inside of the lid. So what you're going to do is, your ingredients are quite simple. It's going to be one jar, one lid, and food coloring. So all you're going to do, quite simply, take your food coloring, pop it open there, and you're gonna make sure that uh, you do this on the inside of the lid, not on the outside. And all you're gonna do, let me hold it up here a little bit so you guys can see, is you're just gonna go around and dot the inside of the lid with food coloring. Then what you do is you let this sit for, um, overnight usually does it. If, you, <laughs> if you're in a rush, you can put them in the, in the oven uh, but I would definitely suggest watching them. Um, and I wouldn't put them in for too long or for too uh, for too hot. Um, now, uh, I've also, in a pinch, I've used a space heater. Uh, I'll set it up and then line them up in front of it. And that works also. That can usually get it done in about 15 minutes or so. Um, then what you do is you end up with something that looks like this which is food coloring dried to the top of a, uh, to the mason jar. Now, when you pop it back in to, you know, anybody that's looking at it, it's, you know, it's nothing special, just a regular old lid. And even at that, I mean, most of the kids aren't gonna pay attention and they're gonna think it's a dirty lid. Um, but um, um, what you're gonna do is, um, and, and usually I don't come in with the jars already full. I have a pitcher or something to pour the water into it. And what I do is while I'm telling the story of the magic water, um, then I will usually fill these up. Now, if you're doing a whole lot of them, my suggestion would be to go ahead and pre-fill them. So what you're gonna do is uh, you're up telling your story of how you found the water or, or whatever, you know, magic dust or however you wanna put it. Uh, to your boys and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna seal this up that's another reason like I was saying these are idiot proof they're also very good uh, because you can put them on without actually paying attention because you can put them on by feel um, uh, we've had baby food jars where they don't quite seal right and so when you turn them over and put them back um, they leak and nothing more fun than a kid getting covered in blue stained water uh, because something wasn't sealed properly. I'm, I'm not a big leave it to chance kind of guy. So um, now once you have it here and this uh, and it's all sealed up and everything, pretty much all you have to do at this point is turn it over. Once you turn it over, it's going to kind of activate like watercolor. Um, it'll get the top of the lid or the, the inside of the lid wet. Once that's wet, it'll of course color the water. Now, how you get that done is entirely up to you. Now, I heard a new way, or not a new way, but an, a, a much better way than the way that I've been doing it uh, at my university of scouting this past uh, month. And that is uh, to have the boys hold it in front of them, like so. This is way too big for a boy to do this with. But what you're gonna do is have them, I'm gonna use an empty one here, and you're gonna have them draw back with it like they're pulling an arrow out of their quiver on their back. By doing that, it will turn upside down. When that happens, then they pull it back, it's now colored. So um, the way I've always done it is just 
to turn it upside down. Um, I haven't done anything fancy with it, but I kind of like the idea of actually making it part of the ceremony. So, um, well, I'm, I'm just going to do it in front of me because you can you can you can play with this one at home. So all you do is just turn it upside down. Now at this point, I'll usually tell the boys to shake it, and there you go. And the more food coloring you put on top of the lid, the darker it will get, and you can end up with a nice blue like this. Um, and I'll use lots of blues and yellows, uh, but I don't think the color really matters unless you're actually going for something. Now, uh, if you are, uh, I've done this before, um, my suggestion is to mark the top of the lids. As you can see, I'll pull up a little bit closer here, you can see there's a little mark on top of it saying Kerr, and it says, uh, it says T, actually. It's actually upside down from what I would be looking at. It's got a T on it for tigers. And the reason was this had orange food coloring in it. Um, and so what I did was you can actually take, take the lids, mark them off for the different ranks, and then put those colors onto the lids. That way you have the tigers with orange, the uh, wolves with yellow, the bears with blue, and then usually we'll do the Weeblos as either red or green. Um, usually green and then we'll represent Boy Scouts with red uh, if need be. Um, so that is the basic mechanics of the ceremony. The uh, the, the wording itself, I'm not a real big, if, if you've watched my university, if you watch my university scouting classes, I'm not a big, uh, you know, have to have a scripted speech kind of guy. So all I can say is um, I think that you know, any water-based ceremony can pull from the same general script, and here is the short version of it. Uh, and I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna make it more adult than I would for the kids. Obviously, I add a whole lot of dramatic filler, but um, but here's what it is. Uh, I was at Baloo training or uh, owl training, you know, whatever. I usually say adult outdoor training. Uh, I wandered off in the middle of the night uh, to. Uh, to find the restroom, I ran across a fire. Uh, sitting at that fire was Baden Powell. Uh, he a liquid that he said would do interesting things when it was brought around people with the spirit of scouting. Now, I've used that line every single year for the last like six years, and it works out just fine. Um, it works good for the watercolor ceremony. It also works for um, glowing bo the glowing bobcat ceremony. Uh, or just like I said, just about anything that has a uh, liquid component to it. But um, uh, but the important thing is, you know, make it something. You know, if you do it while you're prepping up the uh, the jars themselves, you can be as elaborate as you want to be or as you have time to be. Uh, but have some fun with it. You know, add a little bit of magic to it. So uh, I hope that answers the question to. Uh, to uh, those of you that asked about this ceremony, it's a lot of fun. It is dirt cheap to put together, and you can make a million of them easily overnight. Um, this is this is definitely one of those uh, one episode of Criminal Minds kind of activities that you can put together. And frankly, you can also involve uh, the rest of your family in it because all it requires is taking food coloring and putting it on top of an empty lid. So, hope that works for you. Let me know how it turns out, and we'll talk to y'all again soon with more um, 